So I'm standing here with Asala, the owner and manager of G2. Obviously, you guys couldn't make it, unfortunately, to the finals. Although you made a very nice shirt for it, does this mean something new for G2, or, or is it just looks? Oh, yes. We are originally from Spain, so we always have Spain in our heart. And this is just to show that love to Spain. And what a great excuse to do that then when the finals of the EUOC is happening here in Madrid, right? Yeah. Well, obviously, you have your history with Fnatic and Expeke back in the day, and you said it on stage that you simply cannot root for them. Do you think that Schalke can actually take the win home today? Yeah, they can. Like, 20% chance. That's a, that's a noise o meter. Wow. It's insane. It's Fucking insane. Spanish people are yeah. insane. Yeah, exactly. Yes, it's, it's, the best, it's the best people in the world, I tell you. What is the reasonable goal for you guys today? You were a bit slumping at the end of the season. Have you made, as a manager and owner, everything in, in your power to get the guys back again together, to be on the peak level that we used to see them so many times? Yeah, 100%. We did everything we thought we knew was the right thing to do. Uh, so the answer is 100% yes. I think they overtrained, and as a result, they burned out actually. Uh, so we probably tried too hard. And it, this is a team that needs to have fun to succeed. And if they are playing like robots, there is no creativity, and as a result, they forget how to play and how to win. That's exactly what happened, in my opinion. It's never 100%, but this is, we have an idea that this could be what have happened. So what happens now is that they got a week off, and now they got back on track again, and it seems like they're playing really well again, so let's hope for the gauntlet to be able to be a nice kind of playground for us to show that we're a good team.